Hey YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. In this video, we are going to finish the series and it's gonna be a wild ride because in this video, we're gonna go around the entire map and tie up all of the loose ends. We're gonna explore everything that I have messed up until now, which even includes entire biomes that I missed. It's gonna be a wild ride. I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it, but let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into the game. Let's go. Uh, alrighty, so, uh, next day, but I have a plan. I think what we're gonna do, so the guy in the voice log, right, Alan, said you have to go deep. And the only place in this game that's ever been- what the hell did I get hit? The only place that's ever been deep is that area with the Shattered Leviathan. And, and the only thing we found there was one body part, and if this game is anything like the original one, there is no way there's not more down there. So, because he also said there was some kind of facility beyond the crystal, which we didn't find. I mean, we found technically a facility, but I'm pretty sure that wasn't enough. Um, now, what I am still curious about is this, so look at the facilities, right? This one we obviously visited. This one, have we been there? I don't think we have. But I'm not entirely sure. I feel like we haven't. Um, and these ones we obviously have been to, both of these. And this one, I also don't know if we've been there. But I feel like there's nothing I would need. So I'm, I'm like confused as to why those facilities exist. Um, I'm gonna slightly turn on the volume. I can hear it's a little loud. Um, but before we even do anything, let's turn it down to 80. Um, I haven't. Uh, you haven't gone to this one? I'm, I'm interested. Uh, I'm, I'm curious. Uh, before we even do anything, we are gonna go, uh, obviously collect the alien, uh, resources. The stuff we need to make the, the body. Because if we're gonna go all the way down into the depth of the ocean and then we have to construct it there, then we need all this stuff with us. So we're gonna pin all these recipes. Oh. Uh, and we're gonna get this stuff. Which we should have everything here. I think the only thing that we have to go out of our way for is to go back to the drop pod, which will have the postules. But I'm pretty sure everything else here I have in my base, which should be pretty easy to construct. Uh, Nanaru, thank you for the prime. These creatures are crazy. I love how they brought more... These are not very aggressive. I don't think there's ever been like a... I guess the... The jellyfish... Uh, in Subnautica 1 was pretty aggressive. But besides that, jellyfish are usually friendly. At least in this game. Uh, aren't jellyfish like super dangerous in real life? Aren't some of the most poisonous creatures on Earth jellyfish? Like they... They fucking absolutely murder everyone. Some are. I forgot there's like one of them. Which I think has like the most ridiculous name in Dutch possible. I forgot what it was. It was like a Portuguese warship or something is the Dutch name for the ship. I don't know why it's called that or for the, not for the ship, but for the, for the jellyfish. I forgot what it's called. Uh, I don't know what it's called in Man of War. Is that what they're called? Portuguese man of war Is that an actual name for the jelly? <laughs> oh, so that is the actual name. Okay. Aren't those like super... Super toxic? Or I don't know if you call it. What, what's the difference between toxic and poisonous? I always forget. I'm pretty sure there's a massive difference. Um, I think one is... Toxic is actively giving poison. And poisonous is if you would eat it, it would poison you. Or is it the other way around? I don't know. Poison is if you eat it. Okay, so I, that, that was correct. Poison is venomous. Okay, I'm, I'm confusing stuff. What's toxic then? Uh, do we have these? I'm, we're back in the old base, by the way. There they are. Look at that. <laughs> we just need two of that. I don't even know. I'm so glad we have this. Because I have no fucking... Sea monkey, by the way. We need to hatch that egg. I have no idea where I got these. So I'm, I'm glad I got them early game because I would be completely lost if I'd have to find them again. Um, so thank you, old me, from like the very first episode. I'm pretty sure we found that. Venom is injected, poison is eaten, toxic is both. Okay, I see. We're learning vocabulary, vocabulary like, a, like a toddler. Where do I watch the rest of the playthrough? Uh, the, the first part is coming on YouTube tomorrow. Um... So you're gonna get like one episode every other day, something like that, until we're done with it. 
English lessons. Uh, okay, so I don't know how to get that green bottle, the poly loli loli lana, or whatever the fuck it's called. Polyaniline or something. Yeah, we found the whole architect thing. Uh, we don't know where to build it yet, but we're gonna go deep into the ocean and hopefully find something there. And if we find nothing, then at least we're gonna find the Shadow Leviathan again, and it'll be pretty cool. Pretty spooky. Okay, get me out of here. I love how just broken the animations of that are. Um, okay, so three diamonds. One, two, three. Also, drop off the monkey egg. Look at this. Look at our room, by the way. It's glorious. We got the window looking into the beautiful ocean. All the posters we've collected, which there's quite a lot. We got the ghost leviathan bed. Look at that. And a uh, toilet in our <laughs> toilet and kitchen in our room. It's like a studio apartment. And then down here, we got the, uh, we got the alien containment, which we're going to drop the sea monkey in there and whatever the other thing is. I'm not sure. Pretty, pretty happy with this room. And we should also eat some food. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> the fucking sound of that eating. Okay. Uh, so let's see. We need blast steel. Kyanite, easy peasy. One, two, three, kyanite. We need one ion cube, which is easy. We need two ribbon plants, which I have downstairs. Uh, synthetic fiber, I think that is just this, plus regular fiber, I think, isn't it? Oh, it was ruby! Nice. That's actually easier to get for me than actual fiber, so I'm glad. Um, so let's make that. And then we need a... Please tell me I have some. I have some. Let's go. We need this plus two lithium, which we have more than enough lithium. Then the gel sack we have down into our farm. That's easy peasy. And then we just need this, which is golden hydrochloric acid, which I literally have in my inventory, apparently. Why do I have that in my inventory? What the hell? Where did I get that from? <laughs> I don't remember getting that, but I'll take it. <laughs> Marcian, thank you for the 15 months. There we go. Easy peasy. And then we just need this. Look at that. That was easy as hell. The easiest recipe of all time. I'm just gonna grab two of this. Don't even care about the farm anymore. And two of this. There you go. We have the whole set. So now, if we find wherever we can use this, we can just make it. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, and I'm pretty sure we got enough heals. We have everything we need in our... Uh, we might need some more batteries. So let's take some more battery. What are we trying to craft? We're trying to craft an alien. But we don't know where. Uh, but we're just and if if this is not where we're supposed to go then at least we're gonna have some fun because we are gonna go into the deep dark ocean we're gonna go as deep as the game allows us which is a thousand meters for this uh also look at our fishies pretty sure it is over there yes yeah we have no storage i don't know man the models are so hard to find maybe i'm just stupid but i have looked around uh, in the in all the areas that I visited, and I have not found any modules. Genuinely harder to find than the fucking Cyclops. Uh, or, cause this is oh no, that's just the sea sea truck. Oh, there's lava down there. Or magma. What is it? Oh, my my butt came out of the water. Um. Lava is when it's out of the volcano, and magma is when it's in the volcano, right? Jesus Christ, calm down, man. We're learning vocabulary today. <laughs> it is? Okay. Is this game of a gargantuan leviathan? I do not know, but we have found a pretty gargantuan leviathan uh, down into the depths of the ocean, which we are going to revisit right now. Yeah, we haven't... Let's see. So there, if we don't find it here, we could go to the Omega Station. 
and what is that like O with a dash in it? it reminds me of like Scandinavia or something. I don't know if we've ever been there. Repair? We're fine. We're trucking. We are sea trucking over here. Because we are getting there. This is where having a, a an in-game map will be amazing. Is that a Leviathan? Oh, Jesus Christ. You chill out? Oh, that's just a shark. I thought it was a massive Leviathan. You like the first not Subnautica more than this one? Um, I think... If it turn if it goes the way I think it'll go, which is that we're pretty close to the end, I think it's just impossible to beat the first one because the first one for me is genuinely like a nine point five out of ten. Like it's it's almost a perfect game, and I think the second one is more like a, a seven and a half or eight for me personally, which is still amazing. It's just that the first one is almost unbeatable. Jesus Christ, look at that guy! So we are in the in the lily area right which is where the omega thing is I mean, before we go into this let me quickly look around where's the could the omega station be floating or something like maybe it's on these rocks over here let's just quickly check around because we have not found it what the hell is this this hanging oh i didn't even turn my light on yet Look at that. <laughs> oh, maybe in the middle? That looks... Yes! Let's go! We have not been here. Look at that. I should have known this. That's cool. Oh boy. Oh boy. The fucking thing. Okay, so we're gonna detach. And then drop our... Wait, how the fuck did I jump out of that? Excuse me? Look at this, by the way. It's the Terrible Trio. It's CJ. Psych H2O. CJ, by the way. Where's the name? CJ. And then there's me as well, obviously. Uh, let's look around. What is this? Swim charge, fans. That's not very useful, but thank you. Um, Omega Lab. Can I get in here? can what was that was something to scan new fish new fishy i don't know i don't see the new fishy oh is it this the scan maybe the door wait i've never scanned a fucking door excuse me <laughs> oh and we get can we get this why can't we get this in this game oh, vending machine can i get the water i can't get the water thing you have more names. Dr. Daniela Valenti. And we have Vin Pham. Oh, uh, Danny's not here, I'm afraid. That's okay. It's you I wanted to see. What's that you're working on? Just a bed. sketch for a piece I want to make. <laughs> I'm slacking off. Don't tell the boss lady. <laughs> I won't. Postcard. It's beautiful. What is it? I'm doing a series inspired by a bacteria. Mutant beauty. Life, death, risk. You know, that kind of thing. What's this one? It looks like Harab. Oh, I can pick it up. That looks so cool. Is this a mutation? I want this. It's just an art project. You know you're doing that thing with your Aww. neck. Like when you're trying to <laughs> Wait! All right, fine. That's adorable! Fine. I'm bad at lying. Are you mutating Harab bacterium from the frozen Leviathan here in this lab? Please. Don't ask me any more questions. I don't think I need to. Okay, so he was being uh, a little little naughty boy. Uh, also, did you see that? See that image that we found? Flirting? Question mark. Or Sam and Daniela? I challenged your spy pangling to a foot race earlier. Because you got tired of losing to me? Ouch. <laughs> what if I've been letting you win so I could see you smile? Oh. <laughs> but I don't believe it. There are easier ways to make someone smile. Easier than losing a foot race. Oh, I think you're a woman with many talents. Dude, they what are going implying? ham. The artwork that appeared in my lab the other day. Oh, that. A study in Parhelion Red. I assume you had something to do with that. that something to scan. Do you like it? It's beautiful. 
Like Our cell charger. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were flirting with me. Do you know better? I don't know what I know anymore. Not when you're looking at me like that. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh, so I'm gonna fucking die in here? Control room. Uh, what's this? Found a control room? Water filtration machine! Warning. 30 hey, seconds yeah, yeah, of oxygen yeah, yeah. remaining. Can this thing, this thing takes forever to scan, man. How the fuck am I gonna get out of here? Oh, God. Okay. Need some oxygen. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. <laughs> okay. Luckily, we have super... Super oxygen tank. So we're fine. When did they make the air bladder not suck? The air bladder has always been amazing. In the first game, it was, it was really good. Uh, something that I... No. We've already been here. It's always been very good. Look at this thing. What the hell? That's cool. I wish I could make this room. Oh! I can get the glass dome! Let's go! It used to be terrible, uh, maybe in the very first iteration of the game, but it's as long as I've played, it's been good. It's always been good. More PDS. Investigation notes. Omega Lab was first breached by heavy impact. Perhaps from a sea track modified oh. with some sort of battering implement. A localized explosive charge was then released and detonated from a distance. Lab equipment was damaged to the point of inoperability. Oh. All live specimens were destroyed. No personnel was injured. Uh -huh. Samples have been collected for analysis to determine whether any bacteria escaped. It is, however, unlikely. The heat of the charge should have boiled everything within a 10 meter radius okay so sam crashed into the sam freaking kamikaze a sea truck into the facility and then exploded it to destroy the bacteria i see i see what you're doing she was trying to prevent them from experimenting on the bioweapon which makes a lot of sense leaving again oh there's just multiple oh yes Big brain, not Sam. All right, maybe someone. Oh, it was Marge. Aha, the the lady, the mercenary lady. Oh yeah, she did say she would take care of the Omega base. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, I think that's that's it. That's the Omega base. Okay, cool. I'm glad we visited that. So now the only question remains. Uh, there's one more base we haven't visited. Which is this one. You know what? Before we go deep into the, the ocean, I kind of want to do that. Have we visited that one? Can I get a confirmation? A yes or no? I'm pretty sure we have not. No, we have not? All right, then we're going there. I want to find out. Cool, cool. So that is going to be... Uh, let's see. That is going to be... A little bit northwest-ish from this place. So if we just go like north, like this. If we just go straight like this, we should straight like this. We should reach it. Actually, it might just be basically northwest, like more like this. Is this an underwater horror game? Yes, it is. Look at that! Oh god. I really like this area. This area is really cool. Yeah, and there's still that ice wall thing that I have no idea about. I mean, we tried many ways to get through, but didn't find anything. I've been back there a few times now. And every time I've been thwarted. At the whale, save the game. All right, I'll do it for you. Just for you, though. Stay away from me. Oh, a giant iceberg. Have we been riding a whale? We did ride a whale with the... 
with the prawn suit, but it didn't actually fully work. I'm just gonna electrocute you just to fuck with you. Never mind. Are there Leviathans? Yes, there are. My favorite definitely being the Shadow Leviathan. That one's so cool. Uh, oh, baby! And this guy! Oh, God! <laughs> that guy, too. <laughs> That is also a big leviathan. Maybe we can electrocute the, the leviathan when it tries to attack. Alright, we need to go more northwest. I'm going, I'm getting off course. I just found this on the ground, the electrocution thing, by the way. What are we doing? We're going to the last remaining lab that we have not visited before we go deep into the ocean. There should be stuff over here. It's weird that you don't actually need to go to these labs, really. I think the only thing you... Is it didn't really... I guess it's just like a side quest. What's this area? This area is like the monkey, the sea monkey area. Will you complete the game this stream? Yes, we will. I don't, I don't see there is any... I don't think there's any possible way that we won't finish it. But who knows? You never know. How many truck modules? Only two. I mean, I've looked around wherever I went, but we did not find. Maybe if I go this way, because this is an area I haven't visited much, and this looks pretty crazy. I mean, I found a few, but I didn't actually get to finish them. Like, I only found a few fragments. Oh, God. This is a place I have not been. Maybe we go just down here for some reason? No. Monkey! Monkey? Don't you have something in here? Mobile vehicle bay! Monkey. Yeah, these are like the early game places. Pretty though. What's down there? More monkeys. We've already been down here. You can see we already scanned whatever that monkey had. What's this though? Mobile vehicle bay? Yeah, whatever this monkey had is has been scanned. So we have been down here. A long, long, long time ago. Monkey see, monkey scan. Ow. I am not... What the fuck? Barrel roll. Okay. We go northwest between here, right? Let's see. We just need to go on land now. Oh, God. Storm. These cool plants. What the? Oh, those fish. I haven't seen those in a long time. What the hell? They're growing icicles. What is this? A weird place. I think we're gonna have to leave the water here. Take the prawn suit. Uh, am I underground? I think uh, I see lights right there. I think we're in a good spot. Oh, Wolfie, thank you for the prime. All right, I'm taking you. System online. I don't think we've. Wasn't this the Sarder Island? Uh, what? That was easy. <laughs> Excuse me. All right then. <laughs> I found it. I think oh, there's a snowman. Destroy a snowman. Why would I destroy the snowman? I, w I could get the rebreather. I don't care. I already got a rebreather. I'm not going to destroy the snowman for a rebreather. Why would I do that? 
That's evil. Oh shit. Seek shelter. Uh oh. Any modules here? Oh, you can get a prawn suit here if you didn't already find it. It's cool that there's multiple ways through the game. Right, let's get in here before we get too cold. Hey, Lone Wolfie, what's up? Welcome to Twitch. What did Altera use this place for? Oh, the water Researchers filtration. Were trying to find me. Research. Motivational posters were banned from Xenoworks following a lengthy discussion at the annual company retreat three years ago. This poster is technically contraband. Excuse me? <laughs> what did I just get? I got contra motivational poster. Oh, guy research. Yeah, I don't care. If you're not going to read it out to me, I'm not going to read it. Another disc. Divide music, survive. Oh. One thing at a time. Winning takes focus. Sea monkey egg discovered. Arctic ray egg discovered. Alien intruder. A game of. I'm actually curious about the alien intruder thing everyone's been talking about. Instructions. Alien Intruder is a game played by 6 to 15 people. One player acts as the game master and one player assumes the role of hive mind. The remaining players are scientists on a research mission. Total players 6. Total players divided by 6 of the scientists are secretly alien intruders. It's among us. Hive mind. The hive mind is the puppet master pulling the strings of deception. The hive mind knows who the aliens are and who the scientists are. This player observes the game and tries to manipulate the alien intruders to eliminate all the scientists. The hive mind wins if three three quarters of the scientists have been eliminated before completing all of their tasks. Alien intruder. This player does not know they are an alien intruder. For all intents and purposes, the alien intruders think they are normal scientists. What? Scientists. The scientist's job is to survive and eliminate the alien intruders or complete all tasks. Scientists do not know who the alien is. The scientists win if the aliens are dead or if they have completed all of their tasks. The Game Master. The Game Master runs the session and ensures the completion of the different cycles. The hive mind will communicate their intentions directly to the GM and the GM will tell the players how his her intentions play out. Hey, what is this? It's like fucked up mafia. It's like boring mafia. Phases. The game is broken up into days. Each day, the scientists alien slash aliens choose to perform a task or spy on, a, on another player. Then the hive mind tells the GM if they would like to plant a seed of doubt on which spy res results, if any, or eliminate the spy target of the alien. Oh, if applicable. This is done secretly between the hive mind and the GM. The GM then reports back on the results of the player's spying efforts, influenced or not by the hive mind, after which the scientists aliens may have a three minute meeting to discuss the day's event. They may then elect to eliminate a scientist with a ma majority vote. The scientists slash alien then go to sleep and start the next day cycle. Okay, it's actually an interesting twist though. So the twist is when you like when you're a sci what why would you ever spy though then what if you just never spy like what what's the incentive to spy because i guess you have to spy no this this doesn't this game doesn't make any sense this game is weird because so when you they can choose they do a task wait what what is this stupid shit they do a task or they spy. Why would you ever spy? Because you don't know if you're an alien. I guess if you think you're an alien, you want to spy. Do the aliens win if the hive mind wins? Or is the is it like, what? what's the win condition? Do the aliens win if the scientists die? I'm guessing yes. Because otherwise, what's the point of this game? Like why would the why would anyone ever spy? They could just do tasks all the time and then they never die. Cuz the chance if you're an alien and you spy on someone, then the hive mind can kill that person because you spied on them. But if you that's not part of your win condition, why would you ever spy as an alien? I guess if the 
aliens win the aliens win if so you have to it's actually kind of interesting so I'm, I'm assuming that aliens win if the hive mind eliminates three quarters of the scientists which means that as the player you don't know which team you're on you don't know what your win condition is you're either like trying to kill people or you're trying not to kill people so you have to like spy on people to figure out what team you're on because if you do too many tasks as an alien then you're gonna lose that's actually now that i think about it, it's actually very interesting mostly because you don't know what team you're on although it's very likely that you're not an alien because obviously most people aren't aliens but that's actually kind of cool it's a cool it's a very interesting twist on on a regular like werewolves kind hey, of so, idea you want to say hi to my kids I told them I'd Dude. show them a day in the life of a scientist. Cat picture! Of course. Hi, Orin. Hi, Svea. Tell us... Oh, potato. Oh. It's potato! <laughs> Stop interrupting. <laughs> I want to listen again. Hey, Sam. You want to say hi to my kids? I told them I'd show them a day in the life of a scientist. <laughs> of course. Hi, Orin. Hi, Svea. Tell us what you're working on. Oh, um... This oh. is a personal project. Mel wanted to know too much about architects. I could not let her. She was, what do you call them? Did you just interrupt us? Terran. What did you think she would do to you? She might have discovered the gateway to our home world. I thought oh. it wiser not to take the chance. You fucking killed her? Excuse me? Wait, wait huh? Wait, what? You just interrupted them. Why did you do that? Stop it, Psycho! Hey, what's up? Hey, Sam. Stop interrupting them. You want to say hi to my kids? I control told them room. I'd show them a day in the life of a scientist. That's cool. I want this control room. Of course. Hi, Orin. Hi, Svea. Tell us what you're working on. Oh, um, this is a personal project. Looks more like biology than robotics. Yeah, I was just thinking. I know no one is on my side with this, but what if uh. I just found a way to take care of the deadly bacterium? I, uh, I wouldn't say no one is on your side. I'm on your side. I know, but you won't say anything to Emmanuel or <laughs> anyone. What effect would it have if I did? Absolutely exactly call the coward. <laughs> I know. I wouldn't want you to risk more than you already have. I'm sorry. I wish I could do more. What? What are you working on there? What do you mean by take care of the deadly bacterium? Uh, is that thing still recording? Oh, right. Uh, so. Anything else That in was Sam, kids. I'll turn this Lantern off. fruit. Oh, more. Task list. Uh, I can't get in the locker. So she's just called you, uh. Oh. Lantern tree. This is one from the first game. Nautica 3 is going to be above boiling. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, I think that's it. Okay. So these are just like small detours where you get some like... Uh, okay. I see. You you just go into these to get some story and to get like a few crafting components, but it's not very important. Or was there multiple? Were there multiple facilities in this one? There's one tiny... I think that's this. What's in here though? Scorched above. Uh, is there a reason to be here? I missed one photo frame. Oh my god. Uh, alien? Oh, this place is pretty. What the heck? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> what the hell? This is cool. I, just, I deactivated the shield. What yeah, is what this is place? this place? It is architect technology. Standard for my people. Well, nothing that your people do is standard to me. What is it? This Teleporter. facility provides the means for rapid travel. It seems to be inactive. Without a vessel of my own, this site is not of any great utility. I see. Uh, oh. I see. 
I see. This is gonna be an important place to go back to. It's like a, it's like a Fargate, yeah, like a teleporter to a different planet, I'm guessing, not just on this planet. All right, well, that's important that we found this. Cool, though. Can't do anything now, but... Okay, so now that we have explored every single... Explored every single one of these. We've explored this one, obviously. This was, like, the radar tower. This is the mine. This was that giant fucking mess on the... On the, um... Overground. Then we have the... Um... This one we're at right now, and this one we found just now. So, now... It is time to take the sea truck and go deep beneath the waves. We're gonna go into the deepest part of the ocean we can find. And I'm also trying to go, I'm gonna go a little bit more uh, to the east here. Like I, I haven't visited this area, so maybe there's a new biome there or something. Maybe we can find another um, module along the way. Not that we really need the modul modules or anything, um, but it's cool though. I really like the docking module was like by far the I mean maybe there's like a fabricator module which will be useful Kelly too. Um, but it's extremely well, useful to just have both of them connected. So you can have the convenience convenience of traveling with the sea truck while have the utility while you still have the utility from the prawn suit, because the prawn suit is like very useful in many situations. Yeah, I need water, I know. Or food. We can just stab a, stab a few fish and we'll be fine. The sleeping suit will be nice as well. The sleeping module. Okay, so we're gonna go east here. Sorry, fish. It's time for you to... I don't know how I jumped out of that so quick. That was awesome. Sorry, peeper. I'm dead now. Sorry, peeper. But you're frozen. How did that happen? Wait, you just got... He got frozen by the thing. Yum yum. Oh, Holy shit, they are so yummy. I'm gonna kill you too. Can I cook you as well? Cook Simbi out. Right, there we go, we're full. That's why I don't take any food with me, because I can just stab like three fish and we're fine. Okay, so let's go east. Just like along the coast here. This is the... I don't know. We've gotten that egg though. Pretty sure I have not been here. I thought about diving. Getting a diving certificate IRL. No. <laughs> I mean, we've been playing lots of sea games recently. Do have to get a certificate for that? I thought you'd just kind of do it. Don't you get, like, a... You can go scuba diving without a license, right? I guess you might need supervision then. Or something. This is definitely a new biome. But it doesn't seem to be much here. You need to see me ghost hunt and scuba dive IRL. You need supervision if you don't have one. I see you have to be babysit. I feel like I've been here before, though, because I've seen these creatures. I've seen these, like, hoop fish. We are going as east as we can without, like, being on land. Ghost oh, Leviathan hunting IRL. The native, they give it the 11. A horsepower upgrade will be huge here. This thing takes, like, almost no power to move. Uh, hi there, Glow Will. Glow Wills are also almost everywhere. I think that's the one thing that has confused me the most about what is what biome. That I kind of... I don't look at the landscape and I'm like, oh, this is this biome based on this landscape. I look at the fish that are in the landscape. Whenever I see a Glow Will, I'm like, oh, I've already been here because I've seen this Glow Will before. Or I see the Hoop Fish and I'm like, oh, I've already been here because I've seen these creatures before. But that's apparently, that's not how it goes in this game. Can you pet the whales? Because I'm so sure we have not been here. 
We're also gonna fall off the planet, probably. We're getting to the edge now. This is starting to look extremely barren. What do I think of the vehicles? I think the vehicle is cool, like, definitely cooler than the Seamoth. Uh, I don't think it's cooler than the Cyclops, like the full Cyclops. The Cyclops was absolutely crazy. But I feel like most people don't craft the Cyclops in their first playthrough just because it takes so long to get. Uh, similar to, similarly, like, I think this one in design is much better because you can give players, like, it isn't an all or nothing situation where you have, either you have the whole Cyclops or you have nothing at all. Uh, here you can give people modules, but I do think they are very stingy about giving you the modules. Like, I don't know if I'm just, I've been a terrible explorer, which I must have been, um, but I have barely found any modules. Um, and I have looked around wherever I went, but I don't know. Uh, like on paper, I feel like this is a much cooler vehicle for gameplay purposes. Also, we are f definitely on the edge of the planet. No reason to be here. Seamoth is the best one. Seamoth is really cool too. I mean, the, the sea truck without modules is basically a Seamoth. You missed a couple biomes. How is that possible? I've been like everywhere that's significant to the story. I guess they hid stuff in places that is not significant to the story. Also, this shit is scary. been here before this was one of the facilities or one of the body parts isn't it where the hell am i going Woo, i'm spinning oh yeah this place yeah 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 oh god careful of the le leviathan i will use my electroshock if you get me Yeah, it's, it's like, uh, if you have enough modules, it basically turns into the Cyclops. I just wonder, it must be small biomes then, but or, unless I've been like masterfully, also, why do you do that? Unless I've been like masterfully avoiding biomes. Like, look, this is already the sea. This is already the lily pad biome, right? Like, let's look at this map. So, over here's lily pads. This is just nothing. This is, like, just open ocean with nothing. This is open ocean with nothing. All underneath here is liter literally all these areas is open ocean with nothing. Over here is the uh, creep vine area. Uh, over here, again, open ocean with... Oh, no, no, no. This is the twisty... This is around the twisty vine area where you have... Oh, God. Where you have all those, like... Uh, that's uh, where my base is. This is where my base is, up here. Um, down here is the, like, l all the hot areas, which there's, like, the spiky hot area, and there's the, like, purple explosion area. Those That's, like, over here. And I have not... Maybe it's over here, because I haven't been all the way out here. Jesus Christ. But, like, I can basically, like, name every single place I've on this map and that I've been there. So, whatever these biomes are, they must be extremely tiny. Or, like, vi or they must just look like other biomes. So, whenever I go there, I'm like, I've already been here. This is insignificant. Hey, Poppy Dives. I'm glad you finished your test. Um, should go home now, but we can, uh, what the hell? Samara, thank you, or Amara, thank you for the 10 gift subs again, thank you. Uh, oh, what's this? Actually, is that a, is that a new module? New module? It's just a fucking, like, like, look at this. I have found this particular model, so, module, so many, oh, sea truck fabric, never mind. Wait, is this also? This looks like... Yeah, that's the aquarium. Okay. Okay. So I've been in this biome. People said that I missed biomes. I just missed the modules. I didn't miss the biome. I missed the modules. Which, that is totally, totally understandable. 
Sea truck, we already have this. Okay. You need to look around in the already in the biomes that have already been, obviously. Okay, but we haven't so that's another module that we can't craft. Look at the sadness of my modules. Look at this. We have found Okay, only two that we haven't completed. Sea truck fabricator module. These just they need so much. Sleeper module. The fabricator module sounds pretty nice. I mean, I can just go to my base, it's not really. The storage module. They have hidden that one well, man. Wherever that is. There's a biome I have missed. This this is this is illegal. I'm Oh god. Hi there, uh, you're eating him? Also, you're going above water? What the fuck? That's not how fish work. Stop it, fish. Uh... You know what? I'm going this way. I'm going southwest. If there's any area, or it's just straight up west. The only area I don't think I've been is close to this, is over here. It's the only place I think I haven't been yet. Everywhere else I've been. Let me quickly go over there to see if there's anything. Otherwise, it's like the tiniest biome of all time. No, but that's the, the, um, wait, isn't this big boy area? This is the, like, uh, vent garden area, no? We've been there before. Oh, God. Oh, wait. I'm going the wrong way. Where are this over there? The big boy area. That's what I call them. It's just beautiful, by the way. If you haven't seen it. Very cool looking. It's uh, like a giant jellyfish with nature, with like a... Uh, um, with a uh, whole garden inside of it. I'm pretty sure it's around here. If I continue going this way. Uh, I think I'm going too far. spikes lithium oh this is half destroyed titanium yeah, this just this is just everywhere oh Jesus. over here that artifact we're never gonna find I just missed small locations in the biome. That's at least my prediction, but people are saying I've missed a biome, so I'm going to the only location I haven't explored much. Um, ow. It's mushroom land. This seems new. Uh, hi there. No, we've been here. This is, wait, what? Oh, this is the mining location. Okay, no, we've been there. So we're on the right track though. I should probably repair this thing. Can I repair it from the inside? I have to do it from the outside. Peace. Okay. So, over here. So, we are on the right track. We are going this way, which is so I have to go a little bit more southwesty. I mean, this looks slightly different. We've been in that mine before. Yeah, and then you get back to this area. It feels like it feels like this is all one fucking biome. Like there's so few wait. There's so few biomes in this game? Are you kidding me? Wait. So this is all one biome, which is crazy. This is the like safe shallows area where you start. This is the coral reef biome where I have my base. This is the hot area. This is all just hot spikes and, and the, like purple volcanoes. And then you have the lily area here and the vent garden area there. And that's all. Which I, I guess if you listed like that, it sounds like quite a few, but if you compare it to the original Subnautica, there's like a million biomes. I mean, this is just, I don't have like a map, so I can't like fully know if I've seen all the biomes, but I've, we've been here before, obviously. 
with the eye eye squid, which is close to the. And this also is starting to get to the um, edge of the map. I just wanted to make sure. And then it's it's just island from here on. But yeah. I just I just didn't. What is this? Oh, this is more spikes. And then if I loop around this way, I'm gonna find the vent garden again. There's two more biomes. Well, they're like absolutely tiny. They're the tiniest biomes of all time. Because obviously we... Like, I've followed the whole story. I've visited every lab. I've done every story element up until the final part of the game. And this is all I found. So I'm going to call a skill issue on the game's part over then, over there. Because that is... Uh, that's not my fault. Because I have found I have found everything the game sent me towards. I do want to see the vent garden again, which I think is right here. This is the vent garden. Just the per yeah, this thing, right? We've been here before as well. This is a pretty area. Yeah, this 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 is the vent garden. Look at that. We should check the floor here, though. I don't think we ever went to the floor because we kind of got distracted by the fucking giant jellyfish. Which is amazing. Look at this thing, dude. It's freaking crazy. There's a massive leviathan around here, though, so we have to be careful. I never visited the floor. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's much here. He's sucking from the ground. Excuse me, maybe there is some stuff. Don't kill me, please. Sometimes when I get off my seat, I immediately get out of the thing. Other times I don't. What's down here? Gold. Ah, uh, there is something. Excuse me. With this artifact, I am again able to trace the imprint of my people. They survived for a time, but then their presence becomes faint. Cool. Okay, I have so much fucking water, so much piss water. Nice, let's scan it. It's another mine thingy. Are you mine? What is this? What are you mining? Ion battery? Wait, what is this? Oh, it's just diamond. Nice. Cool. Okay, I'm glad we, we found this. So much piss water. There's some uranite here that we don't need. We already have a functioning um, nuclear power plant. But yeah, if you haven't seen this yet, let me quickly do it. It's so cool. This is scary, though. I need to save the game. <laughs> we could get eaten here. Look at this. You can go inside this bad boy. There's no air in here, though. It's crazy. This is where I first found this the spiral plant, which is a uh, necessary component. I wish you could build your base in here. That'd be so cool. <laughs> Building your base in a giant jellyfish. Which I don't think... I've tried and I couldn't. There's something else underneath here? I mean, we already looked. Is there a new biome? Is there a new cave? Maybe there's another way to get to the main cave. But, I mean, obviously I checked it. Um... Okay, so we're just like tying up loose ends to make sure that we haven't missed any major things like this could be a biome If there's like a small area. No, isn't this where the base is? You know what? We're gonna go on our way to home But we're gonna take like a left turn around the island To try and this is like a really cool biome by the way. I love this place like this is cool Very cool big fan Big fan of this area. Um, and then we'll see what we can find. 
Maybe maybe we'll find something along the left side of the island. Because we always cut across. What the fuck is this? Oh, this is just word deep. We always cut across um, the right side, never the left side. Have I played Red Dead Redemption before? No. There might be some more stuff down there, but the thing is, it, like, it's just like story bits of some sorts, which you need to get used to when you play a game. When you watch a game, you realize what people are missing. When you play the game yourself, you don't realize what you're missing. Whenever you play a game, if I would be watching you, I'd be fucking screaming at you for how much you missed. But you you don't have that because people aren't screaming at you. People only scream at me. It's not fair. So what the fuck? Oh, there's lights here. Excuse me. Have we already been here though? Uh. Um, oh, this is just a mine. Okay, so now we know where we are. We're here, so we need to go more left. Wait, oh, more left, more left. Yeah, this is the mine biome, I guess is what you would call it. Like, it feels like what's made this what's made the biomes very confusing to me and what's made it possible for me to probably miss a few biomes is that they've kind of like stitched together all the biomes with this like glue consisting of this there's so many parts of this tiny map that are just this exact biome where it's like just spikes that like spew smoke into the air or and it's like everywhere that makes it really confusing to me as to where I've been and where I haven't been because everything just looks the same. Hello, monkeys. Okay, so we're going left around. Oh. You've been here before, right? Hey, this is weird. I've never seen this before in my base. Excuse me. Like on the left? What is this? Check it here. What's this? Oh. Where's my home? Oh, this is close. It's close by. Oh, this is that area, yeah. Where there is... Isn't this like where you get alien cubed? Pretty sure this is where you get oh and this is where you get the postules <laughs> okay i see oh wait what the fuck is this though this site is one of some significance its data will assist us on our quest my brother what the hell is this thing obelisk this artifact's function is poorly understood, but scans indicated it's generating a strong electromagnetic field. Some hypothesized functions, energy transfer, geomagnetic scientific instrument, communication network node. All right. I'll take some more of these. Can you fucking, does this damage me? I want to know. I need to know if I go through here. It doesn't damage me. There was another one up here, right? There. Oh, come on. Drink the, drink the piss water. And this. There's more monkey egg. We already have those, though. Okay, that's cool. We found more stuff. And this tying up of loose ends, we found many places we haven't been. Which is nice. Cool stuff. Yeah, obviously we found Margaret's base. That's like the beginning. So there's just more caves. Maybe there's like a hole. I could see that because you in the first game you can easily miss the jellyfish cave. You know the the jelly shroom cave. That's such an easy. There's probably so many people that miss that because it's not 
like a necessary area to visit to finish your game. Um, I could see that, like something similar happening. And then we're back in this area, which is really cool. And this is a, an awesome area. So what the fuck is this? Oh, it's just the pipe. Yeah, and, and this leads to the base. This leads to the... Um, to the land. There's obviously something behind that ice wall that we couldn't visit. What the hell? Oh, and this is the twisty thing. Which is really cool. Stop it. And then there was... This is where the, the alien cube is. Oh, yeah. There's a quest to go to the jelly shroom area. I mean, you can still miss it. Okay, so now that we're here, we're back home. What I want to do is I want to... Like, I've explored... I, I wanted to just, like, go around the map and, like, visit every area. I thought there might be something that I haven't seen. And we found, like, three new alien things as well as two new laboratories. So I feel like it's pretty successful. So now what I want to do is um Welcome to the before we do anything else i want to see if i can build the command unit oh fuck i put it in the just to see what that looks like because it sounds cool unless it's like all the rarest materials uh i'm just gonna put some of this in here i don't really need it let me put our our ender chest drop the ender chest Give me this thing. Okay, so how much is this? We can build a glass dome for our... That's kind of cool. You know what? Let's do that. Let's drop off. In the kyanite thing, we'll just drop everything that we need. So we just need to pick everything up that isn't kyanite out of this. Um, when we leave. Also, we have the grappling arm. Um, and then we need lithium... Two titanium and a two enameled glass, which is how do you make that again? I it was a little complicated. It is lead. Oh, glass, lead, and diamond. That's not too complicated. One, two, one, two, one, two, and two diamonds. Um. Yeah, we're gonna build a control room. Hey, randomness, what's up? Boom. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. Now we can, now it feels like an ocean base. Okay, that's actually sick. Nice. Very cool. <laughs> we have light in here. Natural light. Okay, next is the control room, which is this thing. Oh, that's actually super cheap. Uh, advanced wiring kit, which we probably just have. Uh, we don't. Wiring kit and... Is the copper wire? It's something very simple. I know it's a wiring kit. Oh, a computer chip. Never mind. That's not very simple. Uh, and then a computer chip, which is two of this. Two of this. One gold. And one copper wire. Nice. Okay, so that's easy. And then we just hope we have enough... Uh, titanium. Are you fucking kidding me? I think it's four. You please. All right, we're gonna have to get one. All right. One, just a single titanium. How hard could it be? Literally just go, go backwards. Cause I know we've checked a lot in the front. And I just chopped like two rocks. There. Okay, there's so many freaking rocks here. Jump, jump. Why, why give me copper now? Take a handful more. I don't think you actually need anything else. Oh my god, I'm getting non-stop copper. Oh, what's this? Detroit fragment. Let's go. And more lead would be nice. Not copper, though. Copper is useless. 
You have infinite copper. Copper it feels like it's much less useful in this game. I guess much less used in this game. Maybe it's just my because I am finding it more. I don't know. You did find the spiral thing? Yeah, we did. Okay, so that now we where do we build this? We make it. We could just attach it to the front. this that doesn't attach we can't attach it at the back if we enter the base through the and deconstruct battery charger must be deconstructed first what do you mean i can't deconstruct the hatch or do, do you need to have a hatch what you need to have a hatch to your base you can't just decon this what? Oh, there's a, a battery charger in here. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Move this thing. Oh my god. I had three kyanite needs to leave here. Okay, and then we build battery charger again. We can make a snowman! <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, also, water filtration system, by the way. Uh, battery charger over here. Why can't I build that on this wall, you piece of garbage? All right, I guess we're building it over here. Or on this wall. Sure. There. And then, can we deconstruct this? I just... Can't deconstruct. Jukebox should be... Sanity intake recommended. I just want to get rid of the the fucking what are you talking all right well we'll put it somewhere else i don't understand man all i want to do is deconstruct the hatch that's all i don't actually want to deconstruct anything else i just want to deconstruct the hatch so we can connect something to it but i guess we're going to connect it over here that's fine too for me does this connect how does this connect there we go why does it, why you know once is it because there's not enough integrity there might not be enough hull integrity. What's our hull integrity like? I think it's pretty ass. Uh, we have posters there. No, we don't. I think we need more hull integrity, which is just some uh, lithium. Uh, why did I put that in there? I just meant to drink it. Drink, 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 and then eat some food. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh. Yum yum. Okay. Now this is the wall I'm attaching to. There's no there's no uh there's no posters over there. Okay, and then we need to build this. Some hole integrity, can I please? Thank you. Because I think that's what's that's what's the problem right now. There we go. We only had it. We have barely any hull integrity. Okay. Now, can I build the control room? How? Why? It's not giving me any information. Oh, go on. Is the are the planters in the way? Like here, I understand. Okay, fucking get rid of the planters. Something is too close to the wall. You can't build. That's so so fucking annoying. Uh, I can't really move this though. And I just attach it to the moon pool. Our base is gonna look like a fucking the weirdest contract. We could attach it to this. That's fine. That kind of looks okay. There. Okay. Perfect. We just attach the, the control room to the moon pool. It's a little bit of a long base, but whatever. In the control room, you can change base, base. lighting and colors, rename your base, and see information about power and structural integrity. It's like a Star Wars but ship. the integrity of societal power structures. Over here. What does this do? <laughs> you can see the time. Structural integrity. Power status 100%. We can change the color of our base? We can make a red base? Wait, this is awesome? 
Uh, oh. Wait, is it gonna look red from the outside? I need a, I need a hatch on this. Can I just attach a hatch? Let me get the fuck out of here. <gasps> Dude, that's sick! Holy shit! That's so fucking cool, man! <laughs> that's so cool! <laughs> Look at that! That's awesome. <laughs> I love that. Wasn't this supposed to be a white stripe? It's a yellow stripe. That still looks cool. That's awesome. All right, uh, very cool features for base building in this game. The, if there, there's two things I think that are better in this game compared to the first one. Base building and I guess three things because I think the vehicles are better too even though the Cyclops is extremely cool. And then I think the soundtrack of like the main areas is really solid. I mean, I guess in the in um in the original one it's also really really good, but yeah, I love the the soundtrack in this one. Okay. So that was awesome. Uh is there anything else that we haven't we haven't built a large room, but that's fine. We need too much plasteel for that. Uh, or too much titanium. Nuclear reactor. We got a nuclear reactor. You can hear it. This thing? Oh, we don't have the an anemone. We have a sea monkey. Look here. Sea monkey in there. Uh, we where is he? Monkey? There. This guy. <laughs> this is a very cool room. I kind of want to have a... Oh, we can't have... There's a nuclear reactor on top, so we can't have a glass dome. I think the base overall is pretty freaking solid. It's a pretty solid base. We All we have to do now, very important, is add more posters. One thing at a time. Winning takes... Oh, another one. It's your field. Stand tall. Be singular. I need to move them slightly. I can't move them. Look at that. That's a little, little close. You can look at this while taking a shower. Dude, I'm running out of wall space. Oh, come on. That would be the perfect place. Can I place it on the window? I cannot. Oh. I have two, I have two little wall. There's not enough wall. I need to build more so I can just add more. Oh, there. Perfectly in between. That's disgusting. I love it. <laughs> okay, anything else? We have these. We need the cat picture, obviously. I really like that they added more... Um, more pictures, though. Like posters and pictures. I love that. Oh, I'm trying to place it. Oh, that's adorable. Cool. A little weird to have that picture on your own desk, but uh, there you go. That's the whole room. That's that's a freaking, that's a cool room. <laughs> and you even have like more ocean in case you weren't sick of ocean after being on this planet for so long. Uh, yeah, memory of Sam. Yeah, the the hum would drive you nuts. I definitely would move the the nuclear facility if I was planning to stay here forever. I wouldn't really put that on top of my base. But anyway, we need to make sure that we have everything now. So let's grab all the stuff out of here. All of this. And then three kyanite. Do we have everything we need to create the alien? We do. We have everything to create the alien. Unpin all. Okay, we're going potentially on our final trip. Like ion batteries, we have not. Yeah, the water purifier. That's true, but the, the water purifier. I can drink my own piss. Why would I need a water? Well, how expensive is this? Oh, this is extremely cheap. Um, all I need is aerogel, which is just a gel sack and a ruby. Do I do have ion battery? What? Man, the base is so cool. Welcome um, aboard, Captain. This. Then. 
need copper wire and three titanium. One, two, three, and a copper wire. That's two. All right, how big is this thing? Oh, it attached to, it attaches to a, are you kidding me? We can put it over here. No? The control room maybe somehow. Yeah, that does not connect. How, where does it connect to? Connect to a wall? What the fuck? Oh, there. Okay, wait, so we... Are you fucking kidding me? Well, we have to, you know... Oh, my God. We can't destroy this because it's going to fucking explode the base. Oh, wait, I can do that. I'm saving the game in case anything fucking explodes. Okay. And then we place it here. Okay, we need to add this back first, though. Oh, there. It can go at the back. Perfect. Nice. Okay, and then this. Look at that. Water purification. So this is just gonna make water? Do I put water in here? Or does it just automatically make water? It probably automatically makes water. That's cool. That's nice. So now we have literally everything that you want. It automatically makes water. Okay, cool. Um, let's eat some food before we go. This is our food place. You have water as well as food. Beautiful. All right, off we go. Let's quickly check before we go if we can in fact make ion batteries. Oh, we can. Okay, I mean, there's really no point in doing so because we have far, far more power than we need. This is so insanely cheap, excuse me. And how much do you need for this? Wait, that's also insanely cheap. Um, we just need like ion cube, two ion cubes. Oh, but I don't have much silver. Two lithium. Uh, two gold. And two silver. And then two more silver. And then a silicon. There we go. One. And we just make two of these. Boom. Because we only need two of this. Power in the base is going down. We have a nuclear reactor. I think we'll be fine. Boom. And then one, one more. We take one, two... Um, two, two, one, two, one, two. There, perfect. Boom. There you go. I have made two, two power cell, two ion power cells, so we can power the the C truck for as long as we need to. That's never gonna run out because I think these things are absolutely insane compared to, an, compared to a normal one. A thousand. I think a normal ones are 200. Here. 200 becomes a thousand. Boom. Who needs? We need never need to recharge that thing. Five times more. Uh, and then we just put it in the in the tools Because we don't really need that we already have so much backup anyway, okay get this out of here unpin all I am now confused if I still have all of this. I do still have all of that. Do I make there's no duplicate things between them? No Okay And let's quickly also check Reactor rod because people said we had new new recipes No new tool Nothing, we have this fins, the charge fins, right? This one, but that's just not better. Um, snow fox thing, but the snow fox is fucking useless. G truck, they, we would love to have this, but we don't, we don't have the, the upgrades for it. All right, good stuff. Um, new food, it doesn't matter. You have spicy fruit salad. <laughs> oh wait, we can combine both of these into a spot. Wait a minute. 
super important. What did I just pick up? I picked up a fucking melon. I do not care. There. Oh, I have to slice to get the lead. Two, three. There. I am making spicy fruits. You happy? There. Spicy fruit salad. Fruit salad does not traditionally involve leaves, but at least it is nutritious and warming. There you go. I have made spicy fruit salad. Hey, it takes up. Actually, that's pretty sick, though. That's like the best food in the game. Holy shit. Look how much it gives you. 85 food and 30 H2O. That's so easy to make, too. What the fuck? That's crazy. All right, we'll take it. We're taking three of that. We're taking some lunch. Taking lunch on a trip. All right. But what do you have? That's not what I wanted to do. Won't it rot, though? No, I don't think this type of food rots. It doesn't have a bar on it. We have these bars. I would like to put your grappling hook on. Boom. You can just keep this. Good stuff. Let's go. Enough enough detours. Amazing. That's cool. I love the color. You can change the color of your base. That's so awesome. No base name? What do we name our base? Well, if we gotta be the... Do, I can't just name the base after myself. But we have CJ. We have Psycho. What do we name the base then? Elvin. Insane. <laughs> oh my god. That's so bad. I have to do it. In... Seem. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's so good. That's the base. <laughs> Why did you do this? This was your idea. <laughs> there, perfect. We got we got CJ, Psych H2O, and Inseam. <laughs> Alright, let's go. In swim. In swim is pretty good too. Does it now show on the map? Oh god, I hate it here. I hate it here. The aquatic trio, exactly. Okay, so now we. I don't even know if this is the place I'm supposed to go, but we're just gonna try. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Regardless, it's gonna be cool. Get electrocuted. <laughs> Just for fun? Just because I don't like you? I already went underneath my base. That's where I got alien cubed. There might be more areas underneath my base, but I, but I got in, alien cubed underneath my base. Well, I've been there. There might be another fucking cave exactly next to the cave that I went in. But then they shouldn't have made them so close together. They should have, they should have fixed it. They should have moved it around. Too many underground areas. Yeah, they're building biomes on top of biomes. Like, if they were gonna do that, why not add more biomes on the outside? Because I feel like the biomes... So is that? I feel like the biomes that are, um... Like, on the, the sea level, or the, the ground, I don't know, the... The floor of the ocean are somewhat bland, especially compared to the first Subnautica. Like, it, it's not that they're bland necessarily, it's just that they're so, so much of it is the same. That's what I mean. The areas that are, yeah, like this area is insanely cool. Like I love this place. The lily part is amazing. Uh, give me one second. He is yum yum yumming. These are cool. Cool sharks. Oh god, he's gonna electrocute me. No! You peace? Okay. 
Where is the pilot's last known location? It's like right around here. Now we just follow the sea monkeys. Follow the sea monkeys and they will lead you to victory. There. Okay. Sea monkeys. Lead me. This. Yes. I, I think this is just gonna get out. Yeah, you're gonna get out immediately. I think it was more to the left. Ow. Also, we lost 1%, by the way. This way. Yeah, just literally right beneath it. Look at that silver vein. Are you sure this is where we're going? Yes. Lynch, thank you for the 20. Did I just hit a sea monkey? Is that why people are e coloning? Sorry, I didn't mean to. It did. Whoopsie. <laughs> There's Mark. Get the hell out of here. There's some moth in my room right now. You can spy on Marg. Get out of here. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> does she think she does she notice us? Hey. Hello. I don't have a honk. I can't honk. Well, whatever. <laughs> Gotta go deeper. Ah, uh, yep. They did do that exact same thing in the. Is this further? In uh, the first Subnautica, where they just had like one giant hacking cave. Can you get out of here? Which led to. What is this? Which led to all the end game areas. Thermal plants. You already have that. Do not care. Let's check it for the thousand biddies. There's more thermal plant. We've already seen this though. Oh, uh, we didn't get that PDA though, and that data thing. Booster tank? Use oxygen to give a speed boost? What a useless thing. New blueprint synthesized. Why would you ever do that? There I was. 500 meters below sea level. Chunks of the sea base sank around me. One hand gripped the monster scales. The other was clamped around the shard of metal I'd lodged into her eye socket. A reaper. Wounded, maybe, but still deadly. I'd already taken out one eye. A damn side near area. carved out the other. We were headed for the void at the crater's edge. Blinded, she was spiraling deeper. I had a choice. Hold on, or let go. I clung for dear life <laughs> as she took us deeper. I had one minute of air in the tank. Back then, I could go another three with what I had in my lungs. So I had four minutes to kill the Reaper. Hey, why Minus can't I do that? Back to the surface. It ain't that I like killing folk. It's just sometimes what you need is on the inside of someone else's rib cage. <laughs> I killed that beautiful, terrifying creature, and I made for the surface. When I caught my breath, I realized we'd come further than I thought. I was surrounded by watery void, just me and ocean. Nothing else. Oh boy. How dramatic. Also, Celeste, Celeste, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you. There we go. Crystals. This is where we want to go. That was just a side area. Get ready to see the coolest Leviathan in the entire game, by the way. I mean, at least the ones I've seen up until now. I should probably save here. Yeah, she has like a whole cool backstory of killing these leviathans. 
my backstory is I used my stasis rifle. I shot them and then I kept chopping them with my little knife until they died. That's not as cool as what she's done. My backstory is kind of lame. <laughs> We, just, we need we're gonna, it's easy to get lost down here we just need to figure out if there's any more ways to go which I willing to bet there is boy battle Leviathan hello anyone here? Anyone? There's so many fucking propulsion arms here for no reason. We gotta go deeper. Ooh, this goes deeper. Oh, but this is just the kyanite area. Why so much kyanite? Unless... Yeah, I don't think that- Oh, what is this? Egg? Oh, but we already got this egg. Rock puncher egg, yeah. Egg? Be careful, our thing is taking some damage. Ah. This is deeper. Successfully reached deeper, but this might just be just for minerals. I mean, look at the resources down here. Excuse me. It's crazy. A rock puncher? It's like, no, it's a rock puncher egg again. This is where you go. I mean, we have the prawn suit, but we don't need any of these resources anymore. Let's go say hi to the shallow Leviathan. This is where no is this where we Yes, this is where we found that facility, right? Yes. This we've been down here. But this isn't it. Cause this just leads to ow. This unless it's a different one, but let's let's really see what's cause I would have picked up this kyanite, I feel. Or maybe this is a different tunnel. I'm pretty sure this is just gonna lead me to that same area though. Uh, unless. Yes, there's alien artifacts there. But I guess we're looking for a facility regardless. Uh, maybe? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. We figured out thing. Because we can't go through this with the prawn suit. And this is like air down here. Which is just this thing, right? This is very cool, though. Holy shit. Which was the... I mean, I can show you real quick in case you didn't see it last time. But this is where we got the organs, I think. Very pretty. Yes. There. The organs. Unless we can get in here. Can I open this fucking door? Organs. Yeah, I don't think so. Unless there's like a secret door here. But I doubt it. Okay, so we need to find uh, another place in here. Which this is why I, I thought that I had done everything in this area. Because I found this. And that this didn't lead to anything else. This was as deep as I could go. But I'm just going to continue because I don't, I don't feel like we're done here. End goal is to build a buddy, yes. To build a friend. We already found all the architect pieces. I could also quickly repair my ship while we're here. Because I'm taking a little damage. Does this take damage too? A tiny bit? Look at the setup though. <laughs> This is the most com uh, 
compact build imaginable. This is all the benefit from the Cyclops without all the downsides. And we have infinite power because we got the ion power cells. Yeah, we just need a cargo bay, but I haven't even found a single piece of the cargo bay. Like, obviously, there's places I haven't visited, because otherwise we would have had it. But if it's anything like the Cyclops, for the Cyclops, there were areas that I had already been, but I just didn't find the parts, which that's, like, the most likely scenario. Yeah, so let's see. Uh, we're just gonna go until we find the Shadow Leviathan, because that should be forward. Going potentially back. I should not. Ah! Fucking let go of the steering wheel for one second and look who shows up. Ah! Oh, Jesus! Dude, he got in. What? That's OP? Oh, God. Dude, I fucking blasted him, man. Didn't do a single bit of damage to me. I blasted him with the electricity. What are you doing? You're so confused right now. He is so confused. He's disoriented after the shock. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I think he's a bit stuck. <laughs> man that is a shadow leviathan yes okay so i was gonna leave my how the fuck there i pressed e and i instantly left the ship i'm so confused because i was gonna look yeah let's just continue this way maybe this is back but then we'll know that thing is indeed massive need to go further we got to go further beyond uh what's this uh different color hello um red now are we gonna meet an even bigger okay this is definitely new <laughs> hello there oh new plants there isn't any more resources that... wait what is this new plant look at this Eclipse plants. What's that do? This distinctive vibrant plant is often found growing out of a green crystal outcropping that or green crystal outcropping that appears to be similar to jade. I see. Uh well then. I hear screams. Oh boy. <laughs> These are- I love the way they are connected to each other. Very annoying to traverse, though. Glad we don't have many modules connected. What the fuck? This would be very annoying otherwise. Oh boy, there might be a giant leviathan down here. I should save. Also, we're getting- Extremely low, 800 meters. Oh. Might have to take the prawn suit instead. The prawn suit can go 100 meters extra. Since the presence of a substantial facility in the area. Unable to identify. Ooh, hello. Oh, hi there! Oh, God. Get ready to be shocked. Absolutely destroyed, man. The electroshock is so broken. Dude. Uh, that's insane. That's like 10 times better than the shield of the Cyclops. Get zapped, man. This is crazy. <laughs> Give me a lot. I'm gonna zap you. I'm gonna zap you! Get zapped. 
Get zapped. Okay. Just need to find the facility here. I love the way these, these like Tetris crystals connect to each other. This is further away, I think. I don't think I'm going back out. Maybe? Pretty sure we came from behind. Or this might just be a dead end. Oh, fuck me. Then I thought there were fishes coming from here, so I was like, this must be a, con a place to go, but never mind. Oh, now we, no, we can't even go up. We just need to go deeper, but we can't go too much deeper. And this is the maximum depth for the sea truck, so I'm assuming we're not going to go much deeper overall. There might be a deeper module for the... For the bronze suit, but I haven't found it yet. Uh, where the fuck? Hi there. I got some piss water. This goes for... This is actually busted. <laughs> this should make the cooldown massive if they're gonna make it this powerful. I don't even have to do like I don't even have to avoid him. I just shock him. Look how fast that recharges. I'm bullying him. Hey, he's bullying me. I'm just minding my own business. Fuck is just in the crystal. Stop. Oh, stop. 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 It's zapped. I don't think I should go in there. I can't. Okay. How about you leave me alone? I'm just gonna park this right here, okay? Leave me alone. I'm gonna zap ya. I will zap ya. Kind of cute. In a weird way. In a weird Leviathan y way. Are you stuck, sir? Or lady? Alright, you leave me, okay? What did I say? You leave me! Okay, now I leave. Okay, please. I'm gonna save just in case it starts to fucking destroy my ship when I'm not there. Once you have used the fabricator to build each component, we can assemble them. Ah, uh, I... we can transfer you out of my head? I am anticipating it as much as you are. Uh, I'm so glad we bought all the comp brought all the components. Here's fabricator. So, um, um, you said your people came here in search of a cure? I was a researcher. You were a scientist, like me? My people regarded my scientific contributions with particular interest. As I said, like me. If that is your interpretation. <laughs> so how did your valuable scientific mind wind up infected? Not my mind, my body. Perhaps you should build the next component. Boop. So you came here to search for a cure? I led the mission. Does that mean the bacteria got out on your watch? This subject is uncomfortable. <laughs> if you would like to know more, I will ask that you first construct the final... Is he evil? Is he going to be like, Ha ha! You fell into my trap, silly goober! This is the last piece. Soon I will be autonomous again. What will you do with your newfound freedom? I must return home to make amends. Amends? For the bacteria? There seems to be a lot you're not telling me. Yeah, we're just do for me to find the words. I must collect my thoughts. We should have oh. got all the necessary components. You may initiate body fabrication sequence from the terminal. You we still owe me an explanation. I understand. Yeah, we should get that explanation before we assemble See the almighty in alien deep. instead of afterwards. Uh I think Vital signs stabilizing. <laughs> All right. Well, what could possibly go wrong when we assemble? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that looks crazy. 
I love this. I'm taking photos. What is this thing? Can I scan it? Oh, it's gonna build them. Here we go. Commence installation in the infrared location. The escape of the bacteria was an accident. I thought my solution was foolproof. I was wrong. Did you cause the accident? Yes. Oh! oh. He did it! I do not wish to speak about it. We can come back to this. Uh, it's the fucking final boss from Elden Ring, excuse me? Hi there. Uh, you look kind of crazy. <laughs> Woo! Damn. <laughs> Sorry, let me take some screenshots before I scan you. Research. Tit for tat. You've probed my mind. I scan your body. Architect body. The complete physical architect... Wait. The complete physical architect vessel is a biotechnology and cybernetic hybrid incorporating design elements from more than 20 DNA sources. Skin. The outer layer of the tissue has the consistency of leather. The tissue is interlaced with channels of visibly glowing energy powered by the alien's internal biotechnic technological heart robotic arms ellen has six articulated arms that are suspended around his body by magnetic levitation these arms contain independent high-speed computing systems and are capable of performing tasks independently limbs the organ organic arms are considered secondary to the inorganic robotic arms these are used for mundane tasks that don't require much fine motor movement the bottom half of the arms are covered in a biocomposite plating. The plating might serve as a form of armor. It also appears to store latent energy buildups like capacitors. Mobility. The hooved legs are reminiscent of several species of mountain goats. The hooves are covered in microscopic hooks that aid in exploring rough and uneven terrain. The forelegs and the hind legs are oddly close together, which explains wa why walking might be a secondary mode of movement for this architect form. Teleportation! His architect body is able to teleport or blink short distances. This method, this method is likely a scaled down version of the teleportation gates, but the methodology is not well understood. It is likely that architect's body is able to provide the massive amount of power necessary for this function. Matching DNA fragments appear to be derived from the following sources. Chromium boar of Caldwell Prime, an invasive species known for their extremely tough skin, which makes them hard to eradicate. Putty serpent of Apostacar. The snake, the snake has extremely tensile skin, prevents it from tearing and allows it to compress itself into small spaces. Electrode eel of Lithon. Generates an electrically charged slime across its length. Astral rays. Moons of Marden. Is there going to be anything from Earth? Moons of Marden. 14. These rays have small organ that generate and store electricity. Shaggy goats of Olympion. These herbivores, cr herbivorous creatures live on the rocky foothill. Foothills of the mountain planet Olympion. And are excellent climbers. Giant geckos of Holtz Asteroid. Massive geckos that emit an electrostatic charge on its foot pads. This creature... This creates a charge difference in the surface. The gecko is climbing. What? The markers of at least a dozen other biological species are present, but unrecognized at this time. Hi there. Initiate transfer! What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Alright, well, here goes. Commencing Did it work? Are we... It has been some time since I last stretched out in so many dimensions. Like waking from a dream. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey. <laughs> You're really not in my head anymore? 
But we don't talk. There are some remnants. Oh. Would you like your memories of me removed as well? Are you kidding? No way. You still owe me the end of your story. <laughs> I told you I must return home. To assess. Repair. Make amends. Tell me more. When the bacteria escaped, it was my fault. I disobeyed the directive from my network. Oh, no. Oh! What the fuck? We noticed that a species of Leviathan young produced an enzyme that is efficient against the bacteria. Yes, we know this. I thought if we incubated sea dragon eggs, we might expedite their hatching. <laughs> I was not wrong. But... It would appear that sea dragon parents are stronger and more motivated than our facility was rated to handle. And the bacteria got out, infecting everything. How many survived the outbreak battle? Are they still waiting for someone to bring back a cure? I do not know. Can I help? The fact that I withheld this information does not concern you. It was certainly manipulative. And I've also made my own share of mistakes. I'm still committed to helping. I accept your help. Find me at the gate when you are ready. In the meantime, I must... Prepare. I know the gate. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Out of mind achievements? Well then! Let's go. <laughs> You're just... What are you doing? Are you playing fucking Minecraft on this thing? Let me play! Please. I will join you in the gate base when everything is ready. But for now, I have much to prepare. What are you doing? Like, what, what, what are you doing? <laughs> you got games on that phone? Dude, you got a thick ass, man. You got a two? My God, Alan. He's packing. All right, I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> I'm out of here. Okay, he's out of our head. Now, we know where to go. We've been there before. The teleporter. Are you doing gonna be able to make that on your own? I guess you can... Some all right, you're good. You're just gonna be okay. All right, I'm gonna save. Uh, all right. Well, we know where to go, and we already did our basically like our our final hurrah. We did. We we checked all the areas we wanted to check. Like, yeah, I know there's probably some places I missed, but there's also places I missed in the first Subnautica. Um, we just need to get the hell out of here. Oh boy, hi. Oh, there's two of them. <laughs> Why aren't you guys fighting, huh? Why aren't you fighting for territorial, uh... For territory? No, 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 no. Wait, I didn't hold there. I didn't select the... You have to select it every time. Okay, we need to get the hell out of here. There's too many shadow leviathans. Maybe they are mating? Huh? Maybe that's why... I haven't seen... Eggs down here. Up this way. Baby shadow leviathans. That was terrifying. Maybe they do fight each other. Maybe they just accept it. What are they even doing down here? Like, if you're gonna be in a, t in a space this small, why do you need to be that big? That's, the, that's my question. Like, if you're gonna be that large, you should be out in the open sea where that size actually matters. Size down here doesn't matter. They need a shadow leviathan egg. To scare tiny humans, yeah. Alright, so we, we did it. Size never matters, Kappa. They were like, dude, we have these purple crystals. What if we make the red crystals instead? We're still we're, we're pretty far, I think. We're gonna go past a few more of these guys. What's this? Wait a minute. Is this this is the It looks different, but I'm pretty sure this is the exact same area we've been through before. That's, no, that's not the way out. That's where we... That's the facility. 
sure that if we just keep going this way... I mean, the fact that we haven't ran into a Shadow Leviathan is actually a bad thing, because that means we're probably not going the right way. Maybe? Go down. We've been in there before. We've been in there like three times, because I checked it three times. To see if we've already been there. And three times the answer was yes, we've been there. But we're not going back in again. We were lost in this area for a long time. Oh, there's the pro propulsion arms. Why the fuck did they put that here? Like, you've never needed a propulsion arm. Yeah, there is more. There were more Leviathans in the first game than in this game, right? Because in the first game, you had the regular Reapers. And you had the uh, Ghost Leviathans. Then you had the, I guess, more uh, hostile leviathans then you have the sea dragons the sea emperor or empress which i guess isn't a hostile leviathan um and the, there were two sizes the sea treader but that didn't really count um there were two sizes of of ghost leviathan the small one and the big one and then here you have the just like the Reaper equivalent, the Sh Ghost Leviathan equivalent, but you don't have the Sea Dragon equivalent. I guess you do have the Ice... The Ice um, Worm, actually. And the Reefbacks, yeah. But the Reefbacks and the Jellyfish Leviathans are kind of similar in, like, what they, what they do. I guess this one might actually technically have more Leviathans. And the whales as well. The whales are kind of like the reef backs. Yeah, there's just not as many that attack you. Uh, we already got in this egg, right? I think so. Just checking. Lily paddler egg, yes. The ice, yeah, the ice worm was really cool. That was very creative. There's more monkeys. Now we leave. This is the exit, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and now we have to make our way to... I think it was just across the... Um... Oh, God. It was just across the safe... The, the pod. What was this? Is this Neil? Please tell me this is not the fucking aquarium again. I'm going to lose it. Ah! <laughs> why? Why is the aquarium... Like, why do they want you to find the aquarium so bad? That's so annoying. I found, like, uh, actually, like, 17 different fragments for the, for the aquarium module. Uh, there's more whales. Get titanium. I don't need titanium anymore where we're going. Love the glow wheels. They're so cool. Oh. Is this? this is just another. We've been here. This is where we found something, though. This is where we found one of the modules. Is that the docking module? What's this? That's just a sea truck fragment. Two piece. You peace. Did we check this area? We've already checked this area just now and before as well. I'm just looking around. Looking around a little bit more to the right because last time I went left around. Now we're going right around. Hi there! I know now that you're a little bitch and I can just zap you whenever I want, so I don't give a shit. Oh, there's one. This, this is probably more fucking aquarium, I swear to god. Nice try, dumbass. Nice try, dummy! Oh, oh god, oh god, what the fuck? I'm dying? Never mind, I'm the dummy? Is this aquarium? Sleeper module! Finding something? Two out of three? Pepe laugh? Aquarium. Flavor module! 
Let's go! We can now sleep! Okay, maybe now we need some more titanium, because we're gonna... What's down here, though? Oh, you please. You garbage truck. Nice, we found another module. Oh. Don't attack my thing. Don't you dare attack my thing! Oh, it's right here. Oh, cool. Have I been hitting you? No. Save the game. Probably a good idea. There. Yeah, and we can also... Oh, boy. <laughs> so busted, dude. I feel so powerful in this game. Actually crazy. I am the king of the sea. You're a little bitch. <laughs> Get the hell out of here, man. Is there more than one of these? Let's see if there's any more modules down here. Oh, this is this area. This is the, the mine thing. Where you can just... Uh, maybe we can... If I find more at, or uh, aquarium modules, I will scan them for the titanium. Since we're probably going to need some titanium for the deeper module. I want to have a bet on this thing. Yeah, and there's also... Oh, we're back here. Okay, so we can check the... Do we have inventory? We have no... We lost inventory because... We, or we, we gained inventory because we emptied it. But below here is the... Like, there might be multiple offshoots of this cave. But below here is the... Uh, the cave where we got our... Like, cube. We got the cube, the, the thing, the guy that went into our brain. That was down here. In this cave, I think. Unless, unless I misremember this. I'm pretty sure we've been here. Uh, I don't remember these plants, though. What is attacking me? Broken mandrake? Wasn't this... Where's the alien distress beacon? Wasn't that literally right here? Yeah, that was right here. That's why I didn't go here. But it's like... Wait, they have like massive caves to uh, like a hundred meter apart from each other? That's so silly. Why do they... Because I never went down underneath my base because I already found another massive cave right next to this. That's so stupid. All right. Well, we, we while we're... While we're at our base, before we go... Ow. Before we go in here, let's quickly make the sleeper module so it's act. Oh my god, maybe making myself bigger is not a good idea while going down here. Never mind. I have reconsidered. Is that a Leviathan? Module? What the f- Oh, it's just a fucking squid shark. Leave me alone. Is this going to be the fucking storage module? That'd be so funny. See, trip fabricator. I think we need one more. We need one more. Dude, let's go. Not that I really ever needed this, but that's pretty sick. Nice. <laughs> that's cool. Okay, let's see if we can go deeper. Uh, there's even diamonds down here. That's crazy. This is amazing knowledge for early game. Dude, why did they only put it down here? This is like the propeller, dude. They were like, yeah, this is the only area or the propulsion thingy, Majingi. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's even gel sacks down here. Crazy. This is an annoying to navigate thing, though. See, drugstore is running. Why would you put them all down here? 
Why would they put the all of the modules in one single area? That's so st And why do they put the aquarium module like all around the map? That is so dumb. Especially because like you know what happened to me is that I thought I already went here. Where's the where's the thing? It's like so close. Look, that is a cave. 200 meters to the southwest of this is another massive cave, so I just assumed this was the same cave. Which is why I just, like, I've been down here and I was like, ah, we've been here before. Let me get the hell out of here. So dumb. Uh, also, I have infinite oxygen. Uh, I don't think we're gonna... I think I'm just gonna go around myself. Unless we can go deeper, but I doubt it. This is very creepy. Oh, there's more. Hi there, squid shark. More? Oh, what is this? Oh, it's another one of those fuckers. Ah! Goopies? Dude, you can freaking go so... The PDAs tell you to go here. That's another thing. So there's two things that I kind of found annoying uh, in the game. I love the way they have all the PDAs voice acted, but good God, do they have too many PDAs. Like you go into what well, what happened to me is I would go into a fa into a, a like a laboratory. There'd be like seven PDAs in one room. I pick up one. I start playing it. I walk three steps to the right. I get interrupted by Alan. Uh, he sells says some shit about what this facility is. I replay the same PDA. In the meantime, I'm picking up three other PDAs. And then I look into my list of PDAs and there's just like 17 PDAs marked as unread. Even the ones that I did already read. And I'm like, I did, I'm did. i fucking done with these PDAs. Like, I want to listen to them. But man, the organization of like the amount of PDAs you get all at once is just too much to handle. And why did they put both the storage and the and the um, fabricator module in one single cave? That's a little silly. Maybe it's somewhere else as well. But that's a little silly to me. Because I've only found it now at the end of the game. Like, I wish they would have spaced the... Oh, I need to repair this. If they would have spaced the PDAs better, I wouldn't have missed this. Because then I would have listened to the PDA. But there's just so many of them. Like, look how many PDAs are still unread. 141. <laughs> like, too many! Too many PDAs, dude. And I've been trying to listen to them as much as I can, too. This is cool. Yeah, I'll take the titanium. Agni, thank you for the 17. The storage one is the most important for sure. That one would have been useful. Although I kind of just used a prawn suit, which was just fine as well. Oh, the fragment spawns are random. Oh. I see. So I might have just gotten unlucky. I feel like they are random to a certain degree though like they spawn in an area that that is pre-designed oh you piece like the game will like the the exact location of them is random yes but the area where they spawn isn't like the, you're always going to find the storage module and the um, the fabrication module down here, basically. Okay. Leave me alone. I'm gonna zap you. There's more modules. I'm gonna leave this thing like this. Because <laughs> I want this. Storage. We mostly just need... Yes, let's go. We just need a bunch of this. 
I like that, like, pointing my sea truck in weird uh, orientation makes it easier to get in and out, it's weirdly enough. Hey, Anthony, what's up? Okay. Uh, where's the base? There? Oh. No. There. Game is about investing in getting your sister's death. I mean, we figured out what happened, though. We, we know that she was trying to stop the, the Altera from, like, researching the Kara disease and what other uses they could find for it. Um, and she died in a tragic caving accident? Um, while trying to cure the Leviathan that was stuck in the ice, which is still stuck in the ice, luckily. It hasn't killed us. Um... Oh, it makes water. Wait, what? It makes salt. Is it? Did you just make salt? I don't want salt. Get out of here. Um. Let's put. I guess salt is just. I don't even know. Miscellaneous. I don't care. Um. Salt is good. I mean, it's, it's tasty. Uh, and now we want this. Yum, 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 yum. Vital signs stabilizing. And we'll make some more salads. One, two, three. Can we just keep chopping this forever? Oh, never mind. Can we plant this? We cannot plant this. We need to plant the... That's interesting. The only plant where chopping it gives you the food and picking it up gives you the seed. Oh, you can just leave it in there? We have salad? Yeah, but I'm making it. Or, I don't know. Final meal. Okay. Now, how do we make these modules? We have to check. I guess I could check in the book. That's way easier. Faster. Um. I want. Mostly just the storage module. And the. Fabricator module. Sure, we'll make the sleeper module too. Let's just make them all. Oh, we need so much lead. I don't have that much lead. No. Well, rip. I think we'll just make the storage one. Which is which one? Let's just make the storage one. This is the top one. We need a plasteel. And I want to know how much storage it is. Because, like, that would have... That would have definitely been useful. Make the sleepy one. There's lead around my base, so we could grab some lead. This. I think at least. Uh, so you need that for every single one of them. So cheap to make. It's actually crazy. Thank you, Auntie. Um... Sleeper module sounds very comfy. We need more. Yeah. And then two fiber. Okay, so let's quickly drop this here. Boom, boom, boom. And then we just our battery as well. Uh, we could use the mineral scanner. I think is in our. Did I even pick this up? I did not pick this up. Uh, this one. Let's see. Is that gonna actually help us? Lead. Oh, here we go. Beepity beepity beep. Down here? It's like right below me. There. Nice. We only need two more. Sucks that you swim so slow while using this. Nice. Wait, okay. If they're gonna give me this much, then I'll just get all of them. That's crazy. 
Give me another one. Oh. Bitty beep. We also need some titanium. Silver ore. No, I don't know if we need that. Is this freaking. Oh. Two of them. Give me lead. Let's go. Amazing. Okay, uh, we need one more and then we have enough. Now this one. Oh. Hey, if I would have uh, gone there earlier, I mean, I still stand by. This is probably the best place you could build your base. Need two more. Yeah, we are low on silver too, but I don't know. I don't think we need more silver for these recipes which this is literally the last thing we're crafting until the end of the game pretty sure unless that is not the end where is it up down up down a b left right where there let's go because we have one more lead in our storage i think so that should be it. Now we need the uh, choppies. We need the fiber. The end is never the end. Exactly. Uh, well, first let's do this. Let's drop it off. Pretty sure we had one more in here. Unless I misremember. We did. So now we have... Exactly nine. Exactly nine. And then drop off this for now. Don't need this much food. Um, I'm just, what stuff? Whatever. I don't care. Stuff. Water is stuff. Uh. And titanium. Oof. Okay, we need four. Um. Four of these things, which are right around here. Pretty sure, unless I am confused. There. I'm going to go back to the original Subnautica to see, to see some stuff I missed. That's so fun about these games. Honestly, the missing part is fun because it makes second playthroughs feel also special. Instead of just being like a one and done kind of thing. Oh, you piece of shit. Now I can't kill you because you have my knife. Give me that. That's right. That's right, bitch. Leave me alone. Stupid monkey. I only stabbed him once. I didn't actually kill him. <laughs> yeah, actually, like, that area being there is... That's fun. Because I was, like... I mean, it's still, like... Because I've been, I've gone down there before, but I've just been like, oh, that is the area where we got the cube. So uh, that was just like a me problem. Like most people would have probably forgotten about the cube by now and would have just gone there and found a new area rather than assuming they had already been there. Because that's the downside of playing it um, like in a short format like this, where you're playing it like for other, like for yourself, but also for other people, which means that you're kind of like at any point you're making like uh you're juggling like nine different things like is this worth it like besides is this something i want to do is this something that's going to progress the story in a meaningful way because if i'm just gonna fuck around for like hours at a time that's extremely annoying to watch <laughs> so i don't do that Like, you gotta, you gotta plan for... That's why I kind of speed ran the story before I even got, like, mundane components like this. Because that's the main thing. The main thing you're looking for is just, like, can I... How to continue the plot. Because that leads to... Uh, where you're supposed to go. Alright, all we need is now one more of this. Which, luckily, we have that. I think, right? Or, no... What do we need? We need table coral. Which, pretty sure we have exactly two more. Holy shit, it's perfect! It's perfect. Look at that. We have everything. Okay. 
Now we build it. Uh, one too many of this. All right, we're building three modules. Hopefully they're not gonna destroy each other by falling on top of it <laughs> themselves. There we go. Let's craft them all. Sea truck fabricator. How many can you, how many? You just connect them all. An endless train. Dangerous weather approaching. Yeah, 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 yeah. The snake. Just a snake truck. Have like 10 of these connected to each other. Wait, that's actually cool. There's probably a cap, but that would mean you can connect like multiple storage modules. That's so cool. This is very cool. You can create your own truck. You can just create connect like multiple storage ones to each other and just have like a storage train cannot build here must be constructed in deeper water fuck off i'm building a they're fucking on top of each other push them away ah fuck oh, damn it <laughs> god damn it oh it, it gets slower the more uh the more you attach to it that makes sense gonna go there extremely slow all right um there connect to my booty how do i fuck booty there oh my god i did so much damage to it excuse me and then booty can i have like a fucking Rear view mirror, please. What the fuck is it? Oh my god. There we go. Okay, how do I repair these? So now what do we have? Storage. Oh, I was like, is that the storage? Oh my god, that's actually very good. That's cool. That's useful. It's not... You can even rename them. Okay, that, that one would have definitely been useful throughout the game, having the storage module. Uh, the fabricator, I guess it's just, it's like a nice little bonus. That's cool though. That I would have actually used. The storage one, for sure. But I don't think it would have really, it would have mattered in like, only a handful of situations. There was only really one because the only time I, I was really in inventory trouble was on the island, remember? But we wouldn't have been able to take the, the sea, sea truck anyway. Um. Yeah, I feel like they would they should have made the, the storage one. Like, instead of making the aquarium one so common, they should have made the storage one so common, in my opinion. Because I feel like the storage one for gameplay purposes is so much more important than the fucking aquarium. Like, the aquarium would have been a nice little bonus. Um, instead of the, the handle. Oh. Can we also... Can I repair these? Nice, I can. Oh, you can pilot the module? What? Hey, yeah, I'm doing booty connection. Oh, you can grab this thing and then connect them that way. I see. I'm doing booty connections. Alright, everything fine? Everything repaired. Look at that. That's pretty sick. It's like a little fucking fucked up caterpillar. Alright, let's let's bring you over here. Oh here. Ha! Ah, I see, that helps. <laughs> Holy shit, we're powerful! Dude. Boom. There we go. So this would this would be like a genuinely useful setup. You have the storage module, you have the fabricator, the sleeping, and the attached. This is basically a cyclops. We created our own cyclops here. Oh you even have a jukebox built in! <laughs> Dude. That's sick. <laughs> Set picture of Alan. <laughs> Do we have any other cool?
cool picture. And I love this this song. That's oh god. Why would you put vocals in a song that was going so hard, brother? <laughs> you ruined it. <laughs> okay, we'll just have to stick with this. And sleep. But it's literally the middle of the day. We'll sleep when we if we get somewhere. Can we take this? <laughs> this is still pretty. Uh, it's extremely slow, actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I see why this is not. Okay. So you shouldn't connect more than like. Which one do we disconnect though? I think we're just gonna get rid of the horse module module thing would be nice. We're just gonna disconnect them. It's fun though. It was fun to to see it. Can I now move them away? With this pilot them. Don't connect. You can make it faster. Yeah, you need the horsepower thing, but I don't know. I don't have that one. I'm taking just this one. We're going back to the old timey. That's cool though, that you can kind of create the a, like super slow cyclops. Yeah, if you get the horsepower upgrade, but we don't have it. We just didn't have it. Um, I found one of two and one of two, so whatever. It's fine. Okay. Anyway, that was really cool. Cool little bonus. Now we have more modules for if uh, if life continues. But let's just go over this area. See what we find there. Oh wait, it just it shows it on the map. I mean, okay. I I knew where that was. I didn't need the marker. I would have found that without the marker. <laughs> I didn't take the food that I whatever. We're too far to go back now. Yeah, we have the end their power and their chest. Also, it only used 9% power in that whole trip, by the way. That's crazy. way faster like this probably the prawn suit would still be slightly faster but it's just nice to have them both connected can we just fucking kamikaze into our locker for no reason yep <laughs> bye bitch absolutely unnecessary <laughs> Let's see. I think there was like an underground entrance for this. This way, yeah. Death balls, they give it a four. And flumper ferns, they give it a two. Uh, unless I'm going too far. Little spitty fish. What the hell? Don't bubble at me. I bubble at you. I'm gonna hit you. I'm sorry. This is too funny. You look so fucking derpy, dude. <laughs> I'm a menace. <laughs> You're a monster. Okay. You made it. I don't think we need to take you, but we're taking you. Do it again. Well Taking Psycho. Psycho to the finish line. Eee. Also, I never ever felt the need to use that snow fox thing. The snow fox. Oh, yeah, the grappling arm. Whee. Oh, baby. Can I wait a minute? Can I, like, get on the mountain? I, that would be so funny. I, I'm fucking grappling it. What the hell is going on? I grapple the... An invisible wall. Alright. Here we are. You stay here, my friend. Sit down. I'm gonna save. But you don't break. And then there he is. Hi there, Alan. 
Are you preparing to leave, Alan? Yes. There is much to do. Whoa! He's going crazy. What are you doing, man? Uh, are you going? But what about me? Do you still wish to leave with me? Beyond this teleport, you're there. there is no turning back. Are you kidding? I can't pass up a chance to see where architects come from. Besides, I don't have another ride. I do not know what we will find there. The others may be sick or angry. If they live at all. Or you could find peace. Family. I hope you are right. Please complete any business you still have on this planet. <laughs> Join me on the other side when you are ready to leave. We are. Oh, I am ready to leave. We did literally did everything. We did like uh, our last last goodbyes. Here we go. Oops. What the fuck? It's just fucking more snow? I just came from the snow! Robin, you're just in time. The phase gate is opening. You've been hiding a phase gate here this whole time. Only for the last millennium. It will lead us home. No wonder what? you hid yourself from Altera. It was oh my god! The world safe, in hopes that the others survived. <laughs> yeah. What the hell, dude? I think it's massive. Flying? Will you help me prepare the ship? The energy masks must be moved into place. Whoa, I gained special well, arms. This is different. <laughs> Wait, let's go. I I guess I get super arms? What the heck? Couldn't I have used these during the entire game? This would have been very nice. I move these? Energy mass? Is this not the energy mass? Oh, these. The ones that are falling over. I see. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Imagine you fucking kill yourself with that at the end. <laughs> oh, man. After all of that, Alan is like, you fucking idiot. Just splash. <laughs> splash. Hey, there's one more on the ground. Flat. Am I flying too? <laughs> Why would you let me do this? These seem very important. Oh. Very good. Return to me and I will initiate ship assembly. Oh, baby. Oh, fuck, man. Thank you. The masks are in place. The energy field is ready. There is no time to lose. Here we go. Oh, why are you even zipping? Oh, he's charging himself. Wait, that's so cool. Wait, what the fuck? Never mind. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, where? Oh, underneath. Like a <laughs> classic alien stuff. Whee! Ow. <laughs> Couldn't you have been a little more gentler? The levitator was oh. <laughs> I would have helped you to your feet, but as you can see, I have been fully integrated with the ship. Is this permanent? Nothing is permanent. Are you ready to go? Yes. I found the answers I was looking for. I'm ready to move on. <laughs> I can't bring Sam back. 
but I know she died fighting and I got oh, to Oh, this her is work. probably different I'll if you didn't do that. Memory. Nice. Good. Please brace yourself and then we will depart. Different ending because we actually did the, did the side objectives. It would get like a, I have no idea what happened to Sam ending if you didn't do that. <laughs> That's cool. What the hell, man? That's pretty cool. It's a pretty good ending. <laughs> oh boy. What? What will we find when we get there? If I am the last of my kind, I will experience the sorrow of 10,000 souls dimming. And if you're not, <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh, here we go again. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, oh! And if they survived? With you. I am ready to face whatever awaits. <laughs> the Subnautica 3. Cliffhanger time. <laughs> They're apparently making one. I think. Ah, there you go. <laughs> They're apparently making a Subnautica 3. I think that was a pretty solid ending. I, I, that was the one thing that I was kind of like even after like enjoying the early game so much i was like the ending is probably going to be really bad because a game like a game can get so many negative reviews or so many so much slack for having like a bad ending even if the whole road leading up to there is perfect if the ending is shit, people go like no actually i didn't like the game anyway like i i had so much fun but no after that ending i hate everything that happens so many times uh but no the ending was very epic very cool ending uh i thought i mean obviously it ends on a cliffhanger but that's fine um because they're gonna make a third game which i don't know when exactly that comes out but apparently they're gonna make a third game i didn't know about that but many people said they would so i'm guessing they will um yeah so the let, let's do a little review time what did i like about the game i loved the friendly big leviathan uh the glow whale and the uh the jellyfish really cool uh i like the design of the two main enemy leviathans as well very cool um i really like the vehicle i think the vehicle is very well made the base building is one of the things that is like like objectively improved from the first game the base building is way better um the um uh the I guess the, the, there was no Cyclops equivalent of like the, there was no big ship, but I feel like they kind of did it really well by having the uh, like s the sea truck slowly turn into a Cyclops. However, that ties into one of my major negatives, which is I don't know why they were so st stingy with giving you these components. Like I know I missed that cave underneath my base, but that was one area. I missed one area underneath my base. And that meant I missed out on arguably the most important upgrades in the, in the entire game, which is the the storage upgrade as well as the fabricator upgrade. Those were both just in one single area. Like, I don't understand why they didn't hype those in multiple areas. Maybe there were multiple areas and I missed multiple areas. Any, I don't know. But I definitely felt like they should have... Instead of just putting the fucking aquarium everywhere, they should have put some modules like... Just put one storage module in like every biome so that if you go to many biomes, like instead of having to go to one specific biome, if you go to many biomes, you will still eventually get it. Maybe that's the way it worked and I just missed somehow all of them. Uh, I don't know. So that was my that was one of my major gripes that it was really hard to find those components. Um, the other probably my my most my mo the biggest negative that I have with this game is the land section the land section was 
arguably bad, I would say. It was really boring. Well, not necessarily really boring. It was mostly just extremely hard to navigate the the land area, which led to some of the most frustrating, like, environments I've ever played through. Uh, like, everything... It was literally designed as, like, a, one hub with, like, a hundred different tiny loops connected to the, that one, one hub area, which just made it so incredibly annoying to, to navigate. That was really annoying. Um, the other thing... Weren't that many leviathans i was expecting another big leviathan besides the shadow leviathan maybe i missed one i don't know um but again would have liked to see at least one more enemy leviathan uh maybe like randomly around the map somewhere um because the, in the main game in the or in main game in subnautica there's three there's the sea dragon i guess the ice worm the ice worm is also a leviathan so i guess that one counts uh, but yeah, overall, I, as I said earlier in this video, um, I think the original Subnautica for me is like a 9.5 out of 10. Like, it's almost perfect in terms of its genre. Um, and this one is closer to like an 8, I would say. It's a really solid game. Uh, loved my experience with it. I like how this one gave you a lot more freedom in how you explored the story as well. I guess that was in the main game as well, where you had all those life pods, and here you had like those facilities. I could have missed a lot of the facilities and it wouldn't have mattered for the story like i i until the last episode i missed the omega facility i missed the facility that was close to the to the phase gate i missed that one uh the soundtrack as you can hear in the background right now absolutely phenomenal i think the soundtrack was actually better in this game than in the original really love the soundtrack uh except the jukebox i wasn't a fan of most of the jukebox songs just because i i, I don't like it when there's vocals included in, in atmospheric music like this i'd rather just have like only background noise but that's more of a me problem anyway uh, that was Subnautica Below Zero. Very much enjoyed my time with it. Went much faster than the first one. Uh, the first one, we did about nine parts. And this one, I don't know, we have like five or six parts total. Um, which, uh, I guess it was just a somewhat shorter game. The map was also smaller. But I, th I still think, because it, that was the last complaint, is that some of the environments looked a little similar. Like, there were a lot of environments that were just hot shit coming out of the out of the ground. Which wasn't that interesting visually. The lily area was really cool. The, like coral bridge areas were really cool but besides those two i didn't really like any of the environments uh and the leviathan obviously the 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 uh jelly leviathan was really cool but besides those two like nature areas there wasn't that much like above ground obviously below the caves were really cool uh but that's like a different thing for me personally so anyway that was Subnautica Below Zero. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim. Look like the link in the description down below. Thank you so much, and I'll see you around. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.